Imagine what will happen if you get kidnapped and locked away in darkness with no way out. But suddenly, there's a glimmer of hope to escape. Think about the emotions that float over you in that moment. That's exactly what missing people feel when they realize they have been found. Number five. The abduction of a young girl by a man right in front of her mother was a horrifying incident. Watch the moments when she was found. Run, Batman. Hey, here she is. Got her. We got her. We got her. The man, identified as Michael Webb, carried out a disturbing plan after snatching the eight-year-old girl while she was walking with her mother. Despite the mother's desperate attempts to stop him, Webb managed to overpower her and take the child away. Neighborhood surveillance video shows the victim's mother knocked to the ground as Webb's car drives off. Fortunately, it was the vigilance of a family friend who spotted Webb's Ford sedan that ultimately led to the rescue of the victim. The Fort Worth Police Department responded promptly, discovering blood on the front passenger seat of the vehicle. The situation escalated when a tip led Forest Hill police officers to Webb's location where he had hidden the girl in a small laundry basket after threatening her. The video shows the intense scene when armed officers forcefully broke down the door, leading to Webb emerging naked. During an interview with the FBI, Webb made a full confession about the kidnapping incident. He revealed that after overpowering the child's mother, he drove to a church parking lot. Later that night, he admitted to taking the child to Wood Springs Suite Hotel in Forest Hill, where he held her captive in a room. Don't you ever play with law enforcement because it can turn out dangerous, as you'll see in the upcoming abduction. Number four. On October 15, 2023, a heroin rescue mission unfolded as a SWAT team captured on body camera, saved a five-year-old boy from the clutches of his non-custodial father. But he had no clue that law enforcement was hot on his trail and his little hide-and-seek was about to come to an end. Hey, Sean, the police department! Come on out with your hands up! The incident began at 4 p.m. when a 29-year-old woman brought the child to Akron for a scheduled visit with Echo at a home on Barber Avenue. But she was unaware that Echo had a hidden agenda in mind Echo violently attempted to attack the boy's mother before snatching the child from the vehicle and fleeing to a nearby laundry room. Echo was armed with a handgun, with neighbors hearing a gunshot. A witness recounted seeing Sean Echo leaving a building with the young boy. Come on out, man. We know you're here. Your mom is out here, man. I'll let you talk to her after you come on out. If you ever are confronted with such a situation, never resist and act hastily or things could get worse. But in his stupidity, he defiantly refused to comply with police officers to surrender, prompting SWAT to resort to using chemical irritants to force him out of the apartment. After all was said and done, Sean Echo was apprehended and formally charged with the offenses of kidnapping, abduction, and domestic violence. But hold on, the next footage is much more upsetting, when a little kid just gets kidnapped because she was just trying to play outside. Number three. Let's have a look at how that little girl got rescued. Open the passenger door! Hello. It's okay. In Louisville, Kentucky on July 2nd, 2021, an incredible rescue took place after a man snatched a young girl and attempted to flee in his car. The entire incident was captured on police body cam, revealing the arrest of 40-year-old Robbie Wilt and the dramatic rescue of the kidnapped girl. Wilt took the girl from Hanyway around 5.40 p.m. on July 3rd, driving away in his Dodge Challenger. Fortunately, a vigilant neighbor started following the vehicle and provided the police with part of the license plate number. Officer Jason Berba quickly responded to the situation and discovered the terrified girl inside the vehicle. Acting promptly, Sergeant Joe Keening placed Wilt under arrest. Body cam footage revealed Officer Jason Berba lifting the girl from the car after Sergeant Joe Neeling stopped it in a driveway and instructed Wilt to get on the ground, then handcuffed him. Berber shouts, open the door with his gun drawn, but other officers point the girl's presence. The girl cried for her daddy as Berber took her out of the car, greeted her calmly, and reassured her that everything was fine. The police reported that the girl was riding her bike when the abduction occurred. 
watch what happens when police apprehend him. Wilt submitted an initial plea of not guilty for the charge of kidnapping a minor, like abducting the kid was his little delinquent, which is considered a Class B felony in Kentucky. This offense carries a potential prison sentence of 10 to 20 years. Now, think about the punishment of extreme domestic violence and kidnapping. You'll see in the next clip what lengths an abductor can go to to inflict pain on his captive. Number two, this footage will give you shivers down your spine. Is he Hispanic? <laughs> on the evening of August 16, 2023, officers from LMPD's 2nd Division responded to a distressing situation on Bowling Avenue. Concerned neighbors had reported hearing a woman screaming for help. Upon arrival, the officers encountered a challenging situation as the front door was boarded up and locked. Undeterred, they circled the back of the house and discovered that all first floor entry points were barricaded. However, they noticed a broken second floor window through which a distressed woman's cries for assistance could be heard. Thinking quickly, the officers located a ladder and used it to reach the woman from inside. Once inside, they made a shocking discovery. The woman was chained to the floor with a metal chain secured around her neck. With the help of a hatchet found in the cluttered bedroom, the officers managed to break the chain's anchor and free the woman. It later came to light that the woman and her abductor shared a child, and in the days leading up to her captivity, she had allegedly suffered multiple instances of abuse at his hands. But the situation escalated on August 14th when a verbal argument turned violent, resulting in the abuser forcibly cutting off chunks of the woman's hair. On August 16th, when she returned to retrieve her belongings, the abuser locked her inside the house and subjected her to further abuse, threatening her life and restraining her with a large metal chain around her neck and tied her down to the ground. The police eventually located the individual responsible, who happened to be her ex-boyfriend, Moses May. He was charged with kidnapping, assault, and other offenses. But hang on, we saved the best one for last. This famous kidnapping survivor is a true warrior. But before we get into our last clip, be sure to subscribe if you are enjoying the video and want to see more like this one. Number one, a 23-year-old woman from Chardon was discovered following a call to Akron police from a concerned resident who reported that a friend had a woman in their outdoor garage without their consent and that the woman seemed to be injured. Family members have disclosed that she has sustained facial fractures, a brain bleed, a broken arm, and finger injuries. Law enforcement officers had stated that the victim was acquainted with Mozingo, although not closely related. The abduction and assault took place after he offered to give her a ride home, but diverted to the garage instead. A released body cam footage of the arrest revealed officers utilizing a ladder to assist the woman in descending from the partially concealed opening in the ceiling. She displayed bruises on both of her eyes. Look at her horrifying condition. Where's she at? Is she also? Yeah, why don't you sit down there? William Mozingo faced charges of kidnapping, felonious assault, abduction, and unlawful restraint during his arraignment. Following his arrest on October 16th, he has been detained without bond due to parole violation. These people escaped their kidnappers because they were courageous. The terror on their faces is horrifying, but if you want to watch something more disturbing, go check out this chilling video on our channel, if you have the guts to do so.